Miss Mona, for how long have you known, have you known Mr. Wokopilat? For five years. In what capacity? Mm -hmm. As a friend. A close friend? Yes. A friend with mm -hmm. who you share intimate secrets? Yes. Could you have the call to one instant when Miss Pilan expressed the secret with you? On one occasion, she told me that her greatest wish was to marry Mr. Temeha Machaba. And that she would do anything for him to marry her. What else did she tell you? That if you rejected <laughs> her, she will find a way of framing him and even accuse him of raping her. What was your reaction? I was shocked and appalled. What did you do? I told her that such action was morally wrong and what's more is illegal. Thank you, Miss Monang. I have no further questions. Miss <laughs> Monang. You told the court that Mr. Boko Pilani is your friend, didn't you? Yes, I did. Even now? Yes. Do you recall that day when you and Miss Pilani had a terrible argument? No, I don't. I shall refresh your memory. It was on Monday, 4th January 1993. She told you that she was breaking your friendship. Do you recall that day? Do you recall that day, Miss Monang? The witness would answer the question. Yes, I recall it. Did you ask her why? Well, I shall tell you. She told you she offense that you are a liar. That you have spread malicious romans casting doubts on her personal integrity. That you have said that she once appeared in court and been convicted for shoplifting. Is this true, Miss Mona? Yes, it's true. And is it not also true that you threatened Miss Pilani following the breakup of your friendship? Answer the question. Did you threaten Miss Pilani? Young lady, answer the question. <laughs> yes, I got him. The statement you made to the court about Miss Pilanus used to marry Mr. Machaba. Is it true? No, it's not true. I shall repeat the question. Is your statement true? Answer the question. No, it's not true. You mean that you lied? <laughs> that you lied to the court? Yes, I did. Why? Why did you lie, Miss Monang? To punish her for telling people against me. Is that all? No. I was paid. Mm. <laughs> Silence. <laughs> Bye, Miss Monang. Hey! Bye, Miss <laughs> Bye, Miss <laughs> The father of Jimmy Hamachaba. The accused. Yes. You, you, you are a stupid girl. No. Stupid girl. Who brought you to tell lies about me? And who is this man interrupting my court? He's Mr. Paul Machaba, the father of the accused Sit down, Mr. Machaba, right now. My lord, that stupid girl is lying about me. I told you to sit down this once. Didn't you hear me? Go back to your seat. I ordered you to resume to your seat. I mean, right now. This minute. Huh? Earlier, during Ms. Pinona's testimony, Ms. Machaba interrupted the process of his court. Mr. Machaba, every day he knows wishing to be left behind him, also interrupted the process of his court. I wish to remind the Machaba couple more solemnly and more seriously that this is not a circus. This is not a theater. This is a 
solemn cause of law in which a monstrous case to be tried. Mr. Mashaba, I shall be Yes, my Lord, yes. For your sake, I do not do this again. Mr. Lord, we have received more action.